Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, we're going to talk about my White Sox going into the 1995 season in out-of-the-park baseball. Now, as you'll recall, I had a 94 season in out-of-the-park baseball. And uh, I am just the manager of the team. I'll recap really quickly. Out of the Park Baseball is a baseball simulation engine that has general manager functions in it. You can trade players. You uh, They make up players from your minor league system that never existed, and they can appear on your roster. So um, you can choose to manage the team, be the field manager, or you can be the field manager and the GM, or you can be just the GM. In my case, I am just the field manager because I don't like to mess with the money, the salary caps and the ceilings, and uh, you don't have enough money to sign that guy crap. So I am just the manager of the White Sox. <coughs> so the general manager goes out, and he gets me who he thinks he needs to uh, make this team good, and then I have to try to win with it. So... What we are going to take a look at is what my team is between seasons. Now, if you didn't, if you're not familiar with who was on the roster last year, well, I mean, you'll have to go back and look at some of the videos from the '94 season that I did. Um, but we will right now take a look at the um, rosters and transactions, and you can see up here. This is our 25-man active roster for the Chicago White Sox, for the big league club. And you can see here we've got Wilson Alvarez. He was on the team last year. Alex Fernandez, he was on the team last year. And in real life, those two guys were on the team. Ben McDonald is a new addition. He was last year on Baltimore and apparently my general manager went out and got me Ben McDonald. So we will have Ben McDonald next season. Jack McDowell, he was on the White Sox in real life. And he was on the White Sox in Out of the Park in 94. Uh, Torres Prostis, um, he was in the, he spent some time on our team, but not much last year. Luis Aquino. Ossenmacher, I think Ossenmacher was on the team last year. We've got Dennis Cook. Um, Dennis Cook was on the team last year. McCaskill, Kirk McCaskill, we had him, and in real life, he was on the White Sox. Roberto Hernandez, again, was on the White Sox in real life, and we had him last year. Carl Willis, he's going to be a new addition, it looks like, that um, he went out and my general manager went out and got Carl Willis for us from the Minnesota Twins. Uh, Jim, now, um, yeah, okay, so now we're starting in the players. We've got Ron Karkovice. He was on the team last year. Jim Weaver will be the backup catcher. Now, last year we had uh, Mike Lavalier, so I don't know what happened with Lavalier, but we don't have him anymore, obviously. Julio down by the schoolyard, Franco. We had him last year. Frank Thomas. Frank Thomas last year in 94, he hit 51 home runs. He was, as I have said about many of these players, he was on the real White Sox, and he was on our team last year. Felix Fermin. He was on Seattle last year, and in real life, he was on Seattle in 94. Um, he hit 341, and he's going to be on our team this year. Craig Graybeck was on our team and was on the Real White Sox. Ryan Maloney, uh, 94. He was on the Milwaukee Brewers, I think it looks like. So we've got him. He's on our Major League roster. And again, I can't even decide to send guys down. I am just the manager of the team. Robin Ventura was on the team last year. Guillen was on the team last year. Reigns. Matt Austin uh, was on San Diego last year, so he went out and he got us a San Diego Padres outfielder, uh, and not a good one. Lance Johnson was on the team last year. Uh, Justin Talbot was on the team last year. Limited play. 
He only had 36 at bats, but he hit 389 in that time. So we'll see what we can expect from him. And then uh, Darren Jackson, and he was on the team last year uh, on our White Sox, and he hit 17 home runs and hit 328. So it looks like we got a pretty good team coming back. I mean, last year we won 89 games and our division and uh, and went to the – also, if you don't remember, we went to the World Series – and we lost in seven games in the World Series to the Houston Astros. So uh, this is, it looks like, AAA. This is our AAA team. Jason Bure. Now, Jason Bure was on the big club last year, but I guess when he went out and got Ben McDonald, he decided, no, Jason Bure is not going to stay. Al Fifield was on our team, our major league team, last year. Um, he um, was 6-2. and two. But uh, Tommy Gilbert, he was on the team last year, the big club. Austin Glenn spent time on our club. So, like, the entire – and Pete Harnish. We got Pete Harnish. Holy crap. Pete Harnish pitched in the World Series. We have him now, and he's on our minor league club. Our general manager was like, yeah, we know. He was a starting pitcher against us in the World Series, but he's not good enough to make your roster. So I don't know what's going on there, why that's happening. Mike Bilecki, remember Mike Bilecki? So we got him. Because some of these guys, you know, they were real-life players, um, but maybe I didn't have them last year. Pablo Cisneros. Let's see if there's anybody else I recognize. Bob Patterson. I think Bob Patterson was really on our team in real life. Uh, let's see. Noberto Martin. Noberto Martin was on our team in real life, and he's 28 here, so it's, uh, you know, he should be on the real roster by now. Um, Randy Reddy. Randy Reddy, there you go. Uh, we had him, I mean, we did not have him, but he was on the uh, Phillies. Uh, last year, and only had three at bats for the Phillies last year, in in out of the park. Warren Newson, I loved that guy, man. I hope we bring him up sometime during the season. Jose Hernandez. So anyway, now we've got over here. We have the A, A team. Jose Baraja, Alex Cruz, Steve Fuller, Jim Payne. A lot of these guys I don't recognize. So they're either made-up players or they're players that never actually made it to the White Sox in real life. Yeah, there's not a lot of guys I recognize from our A team. Uh, but, yeah, double A has a lot of, or triple A has a lot of guys, and so does... Uh, Let's see if we have a double A team. Because there's probably a double A team here somewhere. Yeah, Aurora Rams. So let's see who's on the Aurora Rams. Still nobody I really recognize. Scott Ruffcorn. I remember Scott Ruffcorn played in the major leagues. He's 25 for the out-of-the-park purposes, so we'll see if we can expect him sometime. What's really crazy is when you see somebody that's great and you're like, why is that guy not on our team? You know, on the big club. Kind of like Harnish. I mean, Harnish last year was 6-1. and one. Are, are one and three. He was one and three. Well, he had six starts. But I, I'm sure he started against us in the World Series. I don't know. Maybe he didn't. But anyway, you know, Pete Harnish is down there. So I would love to bring him up. But I, like I said, I'm not the general manager. So we'll go to the manager's office. Um. And we'll read what it says here. There, I'm not going to play any games. I'm just going to go over, like, what our roster looks like and what we might expect. 
Um, now this is just telling me I've got some open spots and stuff. I mean, I'll take care of that as the uh, first game rolls around. Now, um, I think we have a, a function here where we can get a uh, a prediction on what the uh, what we can expect. You know, this year, like they'll predict what the standings are going to be. Um, hmm. Now, let's see. I know there's a place where that happens. There it is, preseason predictions. I missed it the first time. So they are predicting us to go 88 and 74 and finish in second place, 13 games behind the Indians. I I don't know if I really like that a lot, but that's what they're thinking. Now, last year we won 89 games. So I'm not saying that winning 88 is out of the uh is out of the question, but the Indians being that good, I don't know. And uh, the uh, one thing I want to look at is this is and this is cool based on how you do. Well, first of all, let's look at uh, history, manager history. So you can see I've got the 89 and 73 record, 549 winning percentage and 721 points for the season that I had. We batted 290 as a team with um, a 467 earned run average. 953 runs scored and 847 against. So now here, what what's a cool function in this game is based on how you do, you'll get job offers from other teams, both in the minor leagues and in the majors. And if we look at my job offers, available jobs, you can see there is only one major league team offering me a job, and that's the Phillies. The Phillies are the only one. Now, I don't know, uh, you know, because sometimes you'll see this, it'll look like just one team, and then you start the see you actually start the season, start to play a game, the first game of the season, and then there's like, bam, you know, like 10 teams want to offer you a job. So I don't know. But right now, it looks like it's only the Phillies and then a bunch of minor league teams. Now, there's a lot of minor league teams that want to offer me a job, but, you know, why would I take a job? as a minor league manager when I, as a major league manager, I just lost the world series in seven games. So anyway, I just wanted to share that video with you. I thought it was kind of cool. That is going to be the outlook for the team um, coming into the, this next season. So we will see what that does for me, um, whether I can live up to that or not. But, that's going to be it for me right now. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.